Google Arts and Culture, which is at artsandculture.google.com, is a great website for exploring different artists, uh, time periods, or movements within the art uh, field. You can also look, uh, play some games through their app or visit museums, uh, visit uh, different architectural places, uh, monuments, and uh, that sort of thing. And it's a really very functional, very interactive site. I'm not going to go through the actual apps that you can get either through the Apple Store or the uh, get it on Google Play. I'm going to look at the website instead. So here we have some daily picks where they want to feature some highlights from their collection. You can also explore, and you can click on nearby and favorites as well, but explore is really the area that you want to investigate a little bit more in depth. Again, they have some highlights here, and all this is very mobile friendly, of course, the way they have the layout for the web page. They also have categories for artists, mediums, so this might be uh, drawing, sculpture, painting, Art movements, there are 119 art movements represented, historic events and historical figures, and it, categories it also includes places if you scroll to the right. If you select on any one of these categories, you'll see that it defaults, I think generally it defaults to a uh, most popular format. So it says all, but clearly this is not alphabetical, and this is not uh, organized by time. So I believe it's organized by popularity or number of times people have searched for a particular artist. That has its own interests. But if you want to also then click on A to Z, you can do that. And you can also then sort by time. Time is nice if you want to get a real nice overview of what different artists were producing during the same time period. So you can see Diego Rivera and Frido Kahlo were both uh, somewhere in the 1930s. And if you scroll all the way, it brings you up to present time. When you are in the present, for this case, let's see, we have Banksy, it's a street artist. We also have uh, Shepard Ferry, who did the Obama uh, Hope post poster back in uh, early 2000s. And so if you go through these, we will see various artists that you may be familiar with or maybe not. Kara Walker is a wonderful artist. I'm going to look at Douglas Copeland as an example. Copeland is actually both an artist and a novelist. He wrote a book called uh, Generation X. He's the person that coined the term Generation X and term, terms like McJob, etc. And what's nice about his work, uh, it, you can really get a good sense of how the, the Google Arts and Culture website is laid out. So here we have uh, a story about the artist. So my, in this case, it's referencing the Vancouver Art Gallery. They've done a little uh, gallery exhibition of his work. And then you'll see various works of art down below that you can click on if you're interested in, in seeing anything that really catches your, your eye or interest. If you scroll down, you'll see more artists are listed. They generally try, try to align these with the artists that you're featuring. So in this case, Copeland is interested in pop, even pop art. So you see Warhol, Lichtenstein, see Damien Hirst because of the use of dots. And I'll show you a piece of work in just a, a moment that uh, references dots that Copeland uses. And you also see the different art movements that may be associated with uh, this particular artist and then the mediums that are used. As far as dots go, when you're speaking of uh, the use of that in his work, Here's a really interesting example of a work of art that uses googly eyes, and I can zoom in to see those a little bit more, and dots in a configuration that looks very abstract. When viewed through a cell phone or a smartphone, this actually transforms, blurs those dots into an image that is the face of Osama bin Laden. Um, it's very interesting use of the medium, and if you go back to his other works, you'll see different uses of dots, et cetera. Again, you can always search on these pages. If you're looking for a particular uh, artist or you're looking for a particular movement, you can click on the uh, search button and you can type in your search terms and it'll pull up a list of results that you can then explore in greater detail. That's a general overview of this resource. If you have any questions about this or other art resources, please don't hesitate to reach out to your librarians. We're always here to help. Take care.